And now the assassination of Japan's most powerful politician sending shockwaves around the world. He was speaking at a campaign event in Nara, Japan earlier today when he was shot. He was pronounced dead a short time later and now the world is reacting. Japan's most popular politician, former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, assassinated Friday during a campaign event. The gunman firing two shots just minutes after Abe started his speech. He was airlifted to the hospital, but his heart had already stopped. Shortly after, he was pronounced dead. It is absolutely unforgivable. A lone gunman was arrested at the scene. Police say he's a 41-year-old man who served in the Japanese Navy for three years, who said he wanted to kill Abe because of disagreements that were personal, not political. The assassination immediately sending political shockwaves around the world. Abe was Japan's youngest and longest-serving prime minister and only stepped down in 2020 because of a medical condition. In a statement, President Joe Biden saying in part, quote, above all, he cared deeply about the Japanese people and dedicated his life Life to their service. Even at the moment he was attacked, he was engaged in the work of democracy. The president visiting the Japanese embassy on Friday to sign a condolence book. Former President Barack Obama sending his sympathies in a tweet, writing in part, I will always remember the work we did to strengthen our alliance, the moving experience of traveling to Hiroshima and Pearl Harbor together, and the grace that he and his wife, Aki Abe, showed me and Michelle. Abe was one of the first world leaders to form an alliance with former President Donald Trump, taking him out for a hamburger in Tokyo. Trump calling him a unifier and a great man. Abe's first stint as prime minister during the George W. Bush administration. The former president also sending his condolences, saying he is deeply saddened to learn of the senseless assassination. Abe leaves behind his wife of more than 30 years.